And now let's add this resource catalog. We can add some resources, like a desk, its floors. So in first we have to take off the floors, like in items, go to sets, concrete floors, and hide and select it. And let's add it to the floors, to this takeoff. Take off selected model items. Now we have three of them. We have model parameter, model area, and other things. But when we're talking about, about the desk, we need the desk at the top, the bottom, and in this side, in this side, and every side. And we need the perimeter and thickness. And, okay, and we do not want to model desk. Or we can add another kind of resources, the concrete real the water, the, the sand, all kinds of resources what you need. So let's go to resource catalog. And it's very, very look like with the item catalog. And we can make groups and then the resources. The groups, the resources for floors, for example. Or like resources like desk. Desk and new resource. Floor desk. And another one, column desk. Column desk. And now, let's work with floor desk. We want the area of it, the area. But now it's getting area from the model area. So it's only taking the area of this element, it's, it's this all. But we want the top and the bottom. So we want to have it twice. And then we want to add the model parameter but we want it uh, evaluated on thickness but we got rid of the thickness in the beginning of our project and um, but we want it now and we can get it very easy when we we can get it from the volume and the area like this one model area model value and then model area so now we have a little formula and now we can try to use it perimeter perimeter and now go in other place and now we want to add this resource to our element but we cannot do it in a quantification workbook we have to do it in item catalog and let's go to the floors in item catalog then use resource and use existing master resource if we want to make it from scratch we can use it new master resource but we have it so let's go here and now we can go here and take the desk use it yeah, and done. And now let's back to the quantification workbook. And now, as you can see, we can observe that we have the flaws here. Yeah. And, and when we take the flaws, we can see that it has the flaws and the area of the flaws and the area of the. Yeah, we used not the right resource. Sorry, we go there and let's do this one. Nope, and let's delete this resource. Okay, and let's add next one. Column, floor desk, use it, done. And now go back to the workflow. And we can see that this one is for the floor and this one for the desk. And there's pretty small difference, but we have we've got the resource to the desk from the model. And this is the idea of resources. So you can get a lot of real resources for all the things you need and for the materials, for the special constructions, for special adding things. And then you can get not only the item catalog, but the resource catalog, the resource workbook.